Hello everyone. Today I am on Spa. It's raining, so that's going to add a dash of drama to the Grand Prix. And there are 16 people in the lobby, so that's going to give it some added zest into turn one. But we are now left the grid, and the car on my left is just weaving all over the show. Not entirely sure what's going on there, but I've taken him into turn, well, before turn one. Now we're going through turn one. The car ahead has just vanished. Not entirely sure what's going on there, but he's now gone, and we've got cars off all over the show. I've just smashed into a Toro Rosso, so his Grand Prix virtually ruined already. He's probably going to be absolutely cursing in the cockpit there about my reckless driving, but it takes two to tango, and, well, there wasn't a lot I could do, really, was there in the in the grand scheme of things. I'd say he was barking up the wrong tree if he was going to blame me for that collision, and he should really be shouting at the Mercedes that was on his right-hand side that was the main man at fault for that collision there. But anyway, we're not going to let that do us, do us any harm. We're going to plough on through the Grand Prix. But now look at this Ms. McLaren! On the going quite slowly on my inside, but I've now blitzed him before this corner. I don't know. I don't know what was going on there. That was just phenomenal. It was just unreal. But we're up into the points quite comfortably here now. This is going. No, no, no! I've barriered it. I've. Oh gee. I've. Ba I'm down. Oh dear me. I'm way down now. That's an absolute disaster. That's just horrendous driving from me there. That's embarrassing. I've just gone horribly wide. Oh, God. Oh, it's just an awful driving. I can't show you this. I'm going to have to show you something else. What can I show you? Uh, uh, this will do. Well, I'm about a generation late on that joke. Oh, well. Back to the action now, and some guys just barrage down my inside into the final corner. I've ha I'm going to have to yield there. McLaren facing the wrong direction completely. If that McLaren had not ghosted, that would have been a ghastly collision there. I'm now in P13 out of 16 towards the back of the grid, but it looks like I've got a pretty hair-raising fight with this Caterham on this next lap coming up. And there's a few cars in front of him looking a bit feisty, so I almost got the drive on the Caterham out of that corner, but not quite. And we've got a Force India just ahead of that Caterham now, and we're blasting towards Eau Rouge now and this could be an ugly corner coming up here but no we've avoided contact so far I'm just on his outside bit of nibbly contact there like a hamster on his rear wheel but nothing's happened so far now I'm blasting it round his outside and we're now almost three abreast I think as we go towards the next corner and oh dear me look away now this is going to be a hideous corner but no so far it's going okay that other car's gone far too deep there's a car off on the side of the road I've just avoided him I've got no idea what is going on here somehow I've maintained P13 I've smashed the back of the Caterham I was absolutely inside his diffuser briefly there and there's there's another Williams going really slowly that's I'm sure that's the same Williams that we just overtook but anyway we're going to blast past him again I'm still in P13 up to P12 now as I take the Williams but I've got two I've got a Ferrari. I didn't even know there were any Ferraris in the lobby somehow all over my gearbox now as we go to I don't know what this corner's called and I feel like I should which is frustrating but anyway we move on and I've got this two two cars ahead of me battling and two cars behind. I've overtaken that Williams about six times in the last sector alone. I haven't even managed to get past him that time. Oh, I have now. Finally, I've got past him, and I'm now on the back of a Toro Rosso, but a Ferrari, a Ferrari from nowhere, takes me around the outside, and Force India is just static on track. It's just an absolute game of avoiding this one. I mean, there's just so many cars all over the show. It's just impossible to try and keep track of what's going on. I mean, it's just all over the show. So, we're going to we're gonna regain composure now. We've got a few seconds, and I'm into P12, so I've gained one position in all that carnage. How I've gained one position, I have absolutely no idea, but I have done. I'm now behind a Toro Rosso, so we've lost connection to to the driver that was driving that Williams, so I'm, I'm sure there was some errors there. There was some lag involved or aliens or something because he was... I, I overtook him at least, at least three times in one sector. So I don't, I don't really understand that whatsoever. But some car, some car is on my outside. It's a Force India and I almost squeezed him straight into the barriers there, but he's just managed to squeeze through before Eau Rouge and he's taken that corner well but I'm going to fight back at him now as we go towards the next corner. Here we are. We've got this more under control. I'm in his... Well, I'm going into his slipstream now. Look at how close I am to him. I'm trying to find the pace on him on the straights but I just haven't got it. He's pulling away from me now. We're going towards the next corner. I'm going to launch it down the inside. Oh dear, side by side. I've taken the position. Oh, I've lost a bit of drive out of that corner but I've managed to hold it which is very good news. It's not exactly the best piece of news I've had all year, but it's not bad because I've managed to hold P12. So we're still not in the points, but I suppose it's 
it's better than P13 anyway, isn't it? So we're gonna we're gonna fly through here, and well, there's two cars behind me. I'm I'm miles behind P11, so I don't think that's a that's a real possibility at this stage. But I've got two cars behind me as I go wide through this corner again. I really need to sort out my cornering ability on this game. Oh dear, some cars. The Force India's taken me, and I'm down in P13 again. And suddenly we've got a three-way battle for the low. Well, the high non non point score of positions here as we go towards the final section. I'm going to look to try and have this Force India. I've got a full bar of curves, as you can see in the bottom right, which I need to deploy as and when on this final straight. So I'm now chasing him. He's miles ahead. I'm going to do well to catch him here. I'm going to do extremely well to catch him because he is so far ahead of me. It's unreal. But he's cut the corner a little bit and lost a bit of time. He's going all over the shop and I've got him on his on curves and I've gained so much time and I'm going round his outside into the final corner. I've taken him into P12. It's fantastic. Fantastic. Ferrari from nowhere just comes in and spins out. The Force India has retaken me but gone a little bit wide. And oh no, I'm not going to manage to. I'm not going to manage to take. I'm tired. I want to go to bed after that Grand Prix because that was tiring. I'm, penalties have managed to uh, make sure I'm in the points. P10, I get one point out of, after all that carnage. But I think I'm going to go and have a lie down. And I think after listening and watching this, you're going to want to go and have a lie down. Because that was just. Whew, oh dearie me. Oh. oh, thank you for watching. Goodbye.